You're now listening to the Something Good Podcast Network. Please press any key to continue. It's time for this fucking guy. This fucking guy. Uh, Lord have mercy. Here we go. Here we go for the hundredth time. Hand grenade pins in every line. Mm. Throwing up, let something shine. I'm going, going out, out of my, my fucking mind. mind. Filthy oh. mouth. No excuse. Okay. Find a new place to hang this shit. Yeah. Right. God damn it. In three, two. Welcome back to another episode of This Fucking Guy. I'm your host, Mikey. And I'm Dante. Today we've got some juicy stories and hot takes lined up for you. So let's just jump right in. That's right, Dante. Our first segment today is all about cringeworthy dating experiences. We asked our listeners to share their worst dating stories, and we've got a doozy to kick things off. Yeah, this one's from at Single in Seattle on Twitter, now known as X, who said, I went on a date with a guy guy who insisted on reciting Shakespearean sonnets throughout the entire meal. It was like dining with Shakespeare's ghost. Oh man, that's something you don't hear every day. Poor single in Seattle. But hey, at least it was a memorable moment, right? (laughs) Yeah, memorable for all the wrong reasons. Now let's dive into some of our (laughs) personal experiences. Mikey, you've got one, right? Oh, I do, Dante. I once went on a date with a guy who claimed to be a self-proclaimed vegan vampire. He refused to eat anything but raw vegetables and kept insisting that garlic would kill him. Needless to say, that was our first and last date. Wow. A vegan vampire. (laughs) Talk about niche dating. Now, here's one of mine. I once went on a date with someone who spent the entire evening talking about their extensive collection of toenail clippings. It was unsettling, to say the least. Yikes, Dante. I hope you made a quick exit from that one. Oh, you bet I did. (laughs) All right. Let's switch gears a bit. In our next segment, we've got a special guest with us today, Dr. Sandra Lovejoy, a relationship expert. Welcome to the show, Dr. Lovejoy. Thank you, Mikey and Dante. It's great to be here. Today, we want to talk to you about the art of ghosting in dating world. It seems like it's become more common than ever, Dr. Lovejoy. What are your thoughts on this phenomenon? Ghosting can be hurtful and frustrating for those on the receiving end. It's important to remember that communication is key in any relationship. If you're not interested in someone, it's better to be honest and upfront rather than disappearing without a word. Yeah, that's some solid advice, Dr. Lovejoy. Communication is key, folks. Absolutely. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode of This Fucking Guy. Thanks for joining us, and remember, there are plenty of fish in the sea, but not all of them are Shakespearean vegans or toenail collectors. And before we sign off, a quick shout out to our listeners. (laughs) If you have any cringeworthy date stories or questions you'd like to tackle, be sure to hit us up on social media. This fucking guy. Until next time, folks, stay fucking awesome. And remember, don't be that fucking guy on your next date. Goodbye. End of episode nine. In three. All right, welcome everybody to another episode of This Fucking Guy. I'm your host, Mikey, and with me, as always, is my co host, Dante Carter. Say hello to the people, Dante. Hello to the people. That's right. If you heard that first segment of the podcast, we wanted to try something a little different. I asked Chat GPT to write episode nine of the podcast, This Fucking Guy, and that's what you heard. So I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, you know what the craziest thing is? Is Dr. Lovejoy wasn't a real person. Yeah. I would just blew your fucking mind just then. <laughs> your fucking mind! <laughs> and like, apparently I'm gay because I went on a date with a vampire yeah. that was a guy. See, at least I was like, uh, I was I was inclusive. Yeah. There was no sex in my mind. <laughs> it was just a person that connected, yeah. collected co- toenails. And then the toenails. We've had a few drinks this evening. Um, we will probably continue drinking as the evening goes on. Yeah, we can, let's tell them what we're drinking. Uh, this is Swear Jar Whiskey by Swear Jar Distilleries. We're drinking the maple donut flavor. Yes, sir. Uh, their tagline, tastes so good. good, we dare you not to swear. Oh, we've been swearing this whole time. Oh, man, it's so fucking good. Now, here's the secret. Three shots of that. Yeah. One shot of sweet and sour mix. 
and then pineapple juice to taste, and it tastes just like breakfast. This is a cool thing I just seen on the, the back of it. Whenever someone swears they need to pay up, you'll soon have enough to cover your next bottle. You're supposed to fill the bottle with coins. Oh, shit. Well, we have to finish the bottle first, mm. or we can just drop coins into the liquor that's still then, left in the bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does it taste like pennies? Pennies and maple syrup. I'm getting I'm getting Andrew Jackson. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's like a, a Canadian Andrew Jackson. What's the Canadian Andrew Jackson? Like Ryan Reynolds or something? <laughs> Mike Myers, maybe? They had natives in Canada, Canada, right? Yeah, I don't know. There's a whole separate trail of tears up there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if we have any Canadian listeners, I want you to email us at this, this fucking guy. guy 32. Wait, have we gotten any emails? I meant to ask you that before we even started. I don't even think we've told people we have an email. I posted it on Facebook. Sure, let's I look. said, what's on your mind? Email it to thisfuckingguy32 at gmail.com. Oh, Anything you want to say? Oh, oh, it's just Google. It's just TikTok, because welcome to TikTok. Oh. We're on TikTok at something. <laughs> 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 well, there was one. There's a, there's an imposter. This fucking guy TikTok out there. Just ignore them. Yeah, those guys are fake. We're at this dot fucking f u g g i n dot guy at TikTok dot com. And we only follow two people. It's me and Mikey. Yeah. So because we're not going to follow anyone else, you have yeah, to follow us. You got to follow. We're us. famous. Oh, we're we, gonna... this video's got a thousand views. Oh hell yeah! Thousand one hundred twenty one views. What? That was County Cops. What? Because we're six. County Cops. Mm. 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 County, county Cops. Yeah, you know hell it. yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We've been drinking. We've been drinking. I haven't been smoking. Yeah, he's sober. Dante. Yeah, I'm a uh, North Carolina sober. California sober, as they say. Have you heard that song, Billy Strings yep. and uh, Willie Nelson? Yep. Such a good fucking song. Yep, yep, yep. That is the exact opposite, I think. Oh, I think California it? sober is uh, like just weed and alcohol, or is yeah. it just weed? That's what they're doing now. No shit. Yeah. I haven't smoked weed in a week. That's what we're trying to say. Oh, I see. You're saying yours is complete opposite. Yeah, okay. mine's North I, I Carolina you. sober because it's yeah. not legal in this state. So I shouldn't be doing it anyways because it's against the fucking law. Crazy, 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 crazy. I might do it after the song break. The main reason I wanted to stop, because I feel like a dumbass, because I'll get too stoned on the podcast and then just not say enough words. Speaking of the law. We might do like a comparison yeah. before and after. Next week, we have a law officer. We do. We have a I lawman coming so in. excited. We have a state Episode trooper. 10 is going to be very special. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His intro song, when we introduce him, it should be, breaking the law, breaking the law. And then we'll match it up with, bad boys, bad boys, yeah. what you going, what you going, what you going, what you going, mm. breaking the law, breaking the law, bad boys, bad boys, breaking the law, breaking the law, bad boys, bad boys, breaking the law, breaking the law, what Did I doing? mention we've been drinking? And uh, <laughs> it's going to be a live episode of Cop, so you might get a little sweaty. Oh, I hope so. Ooh. God, I know I'm going to get sweaty. Sweaty and ready. Sweaty, sweaty and ready sweater. taking on some Eddie's daddies. Eddie's daddies. Do you know what I realized today, by the way? Eddie's daddies doesn't make sense because Eddie's daddies sells edibles. So it would be Eddie's Eddie's. I guess. And we've been saying it wrong this entire so time. Daddy's Eddie's? It just doesn't sound, I guess. I mean, if your dad sells edibles. It's still Eddie's. Daddy's, Daddy's. Eddie's Daddy's just sounds Eddie's so good. Daddy's. For the longest time when I talked about edibles, I would literally say, I want some Eddie's Daddy's. For some reason, I picture a Sasquatch similar to like Slim Jim. I don't know why. Yeah. But I just imagine a Sasquatch. It's a t-shirt idea. Eddie's Daddy's and then just have a Sasquatch. Yeah. Yeah. In the same font. Get as on Slim that Jim. shit, Alex. Yeah, Alex. You ain't got enough on your plate. We know you're yeah, just Alex. kicking back with your feet up. With your feet up. Your plate looks empty. Us and Chris just yeah. carry this goddamn network. You look hungry because your because your because your plate's empty because because you look hungry because your plate's not full. Eddie's Daddy's. Yeah. Eddie's Daddy's. It's okay to curse that out tea. your mom on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that TV's not on. You're just high as goddamn hell. <laughs> Eddie's Daddies. We're looking for sponsors. Uh, if Eddie's Daddies is a real company, we will happily plug you. Oh, for sure. And for it's got to sure. be edibles, honestly. Yeah. Don't come here with some fucking bakery bullshit. Some fuck shit that we yeah. don't want to fuck with. All right. Well, do we want to talk about the news? Are we this no, is, Sometimes no. we do, sometimes we don't. Yeah. Do you like the news yeah, across yeah, the nation? News, 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 news,
Oh, wow. I love it when they talk about the news. <laughs> 49 students, two adults, taken to hospital after a crash involving school bus in northeastern Pennsylvania. God damn! A head-on crash between a school bus and a tow truck sent 49 students and two adults to a hospital. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. That's, cr- that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. The Damn. good news is that they were able to recycle the bus into a short bus. The better news is that most of the survivors will be riding said short bus from here on out. <laughs> Amen. So who hit who? Who is at fault? Uh, apparently, the bus driver had a medical episode. Dang. Crossed I two lanes of traffic into the tow truck. Holy shit, I didn't know smoke and meth was a medical episode. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone's okay, meth. right? Everyone's okay. Everyone's Everyone, fine. Everyone's fine. All right, sweet. Yeah. Imagine having to call your boss after that. You know? Like yeah. Just a whole bus of kids is late because you fell asleep behind the wheel yeah. in a fucking tow truck. Uh, bro, that actually happened in my school, too. When I was yeah. in school, the bus driver uh, fell asleep with kids on the bus. Oh, He crashed shit. into a tree. Oh, shit. Yeah. Unfortunately, no kids were hurt. Um, Damn it. But the bus driver got hurt and yeah. then fired. Uh, rightfully so. Yeah. When I was in school, a bus driver uh, didn't slow down for a railroad crossing, and one kid fractured three of his vertebrae, oh. and he was in like a spinal brace for the rest of the school year. Oh. And this was in November. So from November till June, he had a fucking brace on his back. Did y'all make fun of him? No. Ah, oh, boo. No. no. No, no, This kid was a fucking dick, too. Because he you should have made fun of him. Well, he got bullied a lot, right? Like, yeah. he always got picked on. And then he was in one of my classes, and he had a Dragon Ball Z manga that he got God. from the library. <laughs> and everyone knows I'm a fucking anime nerd, so I was just like, oh, that's a cool book, man. Like, I love Dragon Ball, and I picked it up. And he goes, don't touch my fucking books. And I was just like... You deserve everything <laughs> yeah. that comes towards God. you from here on out. I, I been, tried to be your friend. Fuck you, kid. <laughs> I would have been dragging my balls, dragging yeah. my balls across his book, you oh, piece of shit. shit. Uh, imagine if y'all had a school shooter and the teacher yells, hey, brace for cover. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I don't know. Brace for cover. That's what they say. And y'all just fucking push that little piece of shit over. <laughs> Throw him out in the hallway. And oh, yeah, or the use him as like a barricade against yeah. the door because you can Jimmy rig him in there against the fucking thing. <laughs> Keep the door closed. What was his name? Say his name. Go ahead. <laughs> I was actually trying to remember his name. I don't remember. Uh, I know his last name. It was Jablanca. Oh. Yeah. It's a real person? Yeah. Jablanca? Jablanca. God, that's the fucking Which is also, I know someone else very close to me currently that has the same last name, but they're not related. Ooh. But yeah. Jablanca. I want to say it was David. David Jablanca. So you're- if you're out there, I was just trying to be your friend. Yeah. All right. I knew you got picked on. I bet he watches like fucking. I'm an anime nerd. Hentai porn right now, dude. Hit but he me has up. a hard time jerking off because up. he's still stiff from. Let me know. A said accident. I'll come through. I'll yeah. watch some tentacle porn with he, you. He might be a little gay, honestly. <laughs> That's what I've heard. Like once you have a major like back injury, you go a little gay because yeah. it's just easier to get fucked than to. Well, fuck. if you like Dragon Ball, you're gay. Yeah. 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 How do you like my Dragon Ball statues on top of the speakers? <laughs> they're pretty. Sick, so right? They're pretty. They're um. A second. One, two, three, four, five, six more in the closet. Yeah, they're. We were. One of the first episodes we recorded together, something. I knocked something over, and you said, dude, you almost broke my. And I still to this day don't know what the fuck it is. So we'll have to listen to it back. I have no clue what you were talking I think it was this ball thing right here. What's this called? My Dragon Balls. No, no, no. What's the thing that holds them called? I don't know. My Dragon Ball sack? No, that's not it. That's not it. All right. Something almost broke in this motherfucker that's nerdy as shit. And it was probably my Gundam model that took me three hours to assemble, you asshole. That sentence in itself. Yeah, well, you Smash know. Mouth lead singer Steve Harwell dead at 56. Oh, man. The, the world really rolled him. Yeah. <laughs> you know what was funny is um, I didn't know he died until somebody <laughs> once <laughs> told me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, rest in peace, Steve. Um, Dude, do you know any other songs from Smash Mouth? Mm -mm. I don't either. (laughs) Me neither. Uh, Let's look look one up. One song from others. Might as well be walking on the sun. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. I'm a believer. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Also from Shrek. Yeah. 
And then I saw her face. Bum, dun, 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 dun. I walking, said, what yeah, the walking fuck? Song. Then the morning comes. I don't know that one. Know Why that can't one. we be friends? That's got to be a cover. That's a cover. Got to be, right? For sure. That was uh, the- can't get enough of you, baby. Oh, yeah, because I can't get enough of you, baby. Bum, 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 bum. Mm. They pretty mm. much just wrote the same song five different times yeah. with different lyrics. Their, uh, their Essentials playlist on Apple Music is literally 15 songs. Do you know how he died? Because he wasn't that old. Uh, I think it was uh, liver failure, which is what I'll... Oh, he has cirrhosis. Cirrhosis of the liver. Uh, he passed away peacefully and comfortably. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's how we all want to go. Either that or in combat, but, you know, it's hard to find combat these days. How did he die? Because of all these damn libtards that didn't vote for Donald Trump. <laughs> Still, this is still going. Still going. Uh, the, 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 the stage four, final stage liver, liver failure. Damn. Uh, his manager wrote, Steve lived 100% full throttle life, burning brightly across the universe before burning oh, out. Yeah, just like he was walking on the sun, baby. Yeah. You know? How do you do it? I didn't. I really didn't. When someone first told me, I didn't think that he had died. I seen it for myself and said, now I'm a believer. Oh, yeah, there fucking, you go. Yeah, whatever. Yep. Yeah. Uh, there's a country where you get paid $1,500 to sleep. All right. What country is that? Oh, there's a video. We're, Damn are sure we, ain't this country. We're going to play the video. You I'd play? be rich, dude. Fiesta Fiesta in Spain is a sleeping competition where people out in the middle of a busy shopping mall fall asleep while jury is watching them. You get extra points for weird sleeping position, crazy pajamas, and for snoring really, really loud. They attach a pulse monitor to your chest to monitor if you're actually sleeping or just pretending. Uh, and they're going to time your sleep and make it as close as possible to 20 minutes. Because turns out that a 20, 20 minutes, minute, that's it? Yeah. Uh, turns Dude. out a 20-minute uh, afternoon nap is the best way to reboot your body. Do they drug test? Mm, I'm not seeing anything about a drug Dude, test. I will. I will eat a fucking huge edible and just pass out for nine hours and just collect my fucking cash man okay but think about this my fucking cash <laughs> the winner only gets 1500 it probably will cost you more to go to spain buy the edible i would hope you would buy it here but then you got to travel with it end up Brittany griner yeah <laughs> so uh you know just end up in a spanish prison with some guy named jorge <laughs> uh man. I wonder how people. I wonder what people thought about our little, uh, little improv with Fireball in that one episode. You know, I haven't heard any bad things. Right? Yeah. That was fun. That was a good time. I like improving with you guys. You guys keep me sane. A uh, flight from Atlanta forced to turn around after pilot labels passengers' diarrhea as a biohazard. <laughs> a, a pilot reportedly had to execute an emergency <laughs> landing. Back to the departure city due to a diarrhea incident on board. Oh, my incident. The scheduled eight to nine hour flight was in its six hours early by the incident. Returning the plane to ground. At so they had to land yeah. or they had to turn around and land. Yeah. Oh, my God. A snippet of the how pilot's. bad was your diarrhea that people were outside of the bathroom like, God damn, we got to turn this bitch around. A snippet of the pilot's radio communication shared on social Holy media revealed shit. that it was a biohazard issue caused by a passenger with diarrhea. <laughs> um, apparently, they're making a movie by, about this plane that's going to be called Droppenheimer. <laughs> yeah. Stupid. It just, just stupid. Just fucking... <laughs> Just diarrhea on a plane. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, new, my God, dude. A new study finds Have vaping. you ever shat on a plane? Sh- yes. Yeah? Yeah, we right, talked so about it. So you can shit on a plane. We talked about it on... Uh, the last episode, we yeah. talked about your shitting issues. No, well, the episode episode six with Chris and David, we talked about when I right. shit on a plane. Episode seven. Or was it... No, no, no. Uh, it was the cryptic cult conspiracy. Ah. Oh. Because we filmed, recorded too that yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. We talked about I had to shit on a plane... Uh, and I had to ask for permission because I didn't know what the rules were. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can I shit here? This toilet that you were able to sit on? What's the rules? What's the rules here? What's your shitting policy? Yeah. Are you pro or against shitting? <laughs> New study finds vaping may lower men's sperm counts and shrink their testicles. That's fine. 
Uh, I was wondering why my ball sack was oh, more wrinkly than usual. This study was done in Turkey. Next article. Yeah, what do they well, know? What the fuck does Turkey know? What do they know? They don't Had even celebrate a, Thanksgiving yeah, over there. Oh, fucking boo. <laughs> boo. What do they speak in Turkey? Uh, Turkish. Oh, yeah? I don't fucking know. <laughs> okay. But Turkish is a sound, language, right? All right. Well, so I would think. Yeah. Hey, uh, if you're a listener in Turkey, email send us, us an email yeah. at this fucking guy, F U G G I N, 32 at gmail.com. 21 year old Peanut breaks world record for being the oldest chicken. The chicken's name is Peanut. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's wholesome. How old? Uh, he, 20, 21. Oh. The number I just said. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that's. <laughs> 21-year-old Peanut <laughs> breaks world record for being the oldest chicken. A hen named Peanut from Michigan, <laughs> USA is now confirmed to be the the world's oldest living chicken, which is weird because uh, Detroit, Michigan has a very high death rate. That's true. Especially for chicken with all of those. Uh... Anyways, uh, before hatching, Peanut was abandoned by her mother who left the nest with all her other chicks. Usually it's the father in Detroit. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> Marcy, <laughs> this beautiful random lady, later discovered the cold egg and assuming it had died, picked it up to throw into her pond. <laughs> That's what you do with bad eggs. Yeah. However, at the moment, she it's heard like when it you cheat. take a sack of puppies and throw them in the river. Yeah, like Benjamin Button. Yeah. However, at the moment, she heard it cheap. <laughs> After being peeled out of her shell, Tina instantly bonded to Marcy. Marcy's Aww. an old lady. After Marcy heard it cheap, um, which is funny because old ladies love cheap shit. Uh, you ever go to your grandma's house and just go through her living room? Everything's fucking cheap. Yeah, they got like like a like a snack drawer, but it's full of like peanut, like the circus peanuts. Yeah, <laughs> like Weathers Originals and her and daily scotch <laughs> candies. Her daily oh, dude, this this old man at the store brought me candies today that I've never heard of the brand or anything. I ate them; they're good as fuck. Hell yeah, high as shit for twenty hours straight, <laughs> yeah. but. Uh, uh, yeah. Here we go. Let's keep scrolling. Twenty uh, years. Oh, that's an old ass chicken, though. That is twenty one years. That's old. The chicken God can literally damn. drink alcohol now. Yeah, and oh. it didn't get eaten by a fox or like, oh. like taken out by another chicken in eaten. like a turf war or something. <laughs> yeah, in Detroit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's like, where the FBI's most wanted family is. Remember <laughs> the Poindexters? You remember? Oh, I remember. Yeah, they were gonna come to where you work at. Uh, <laughs> maybe um the chicken is this fucking guy by the way uh indian government is reportedly preparing to change their country's name to mikey you say that with the oh accent. yeah uh barat barat yeah barats barat barat, barat obama um, <laughs> uh india cnbc didn't know that was a thing reports that the government is preparing to change their name of the country to Bharat. um the indian india's president also sent out g20 dinner invitation and when she okay was titled the president of Bharat. that country's not gonna make it does it say why i i don't I don't know why they're doing that. I've seen that, but I don't know. Understand? Yeah, no, it doesn't. It says is. the president of Barat requests the pleasure of the company at dinner, and it has the date. So it's like that's the actual invitation there. Is it because they have a billion fucking people in that country, so they need a country name that starts with a B? Also, maybe Barat. 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 Uh, Thank you for calling. My name is Brian. Sorry. Sorry, oh. that was offensive. No, that's fine. <laughs> Fuck you, Muhammad. We remember. <laughs> Never forget, baby. In, in 2019, the mother won FIFA's Best Fan Award after she was spotted in the crowd explaining the entire match to her blind son. Aw. Yeah. Great. She just wasted money on a ticket, but that's cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sylvia Greco earned FIFA's Best Fan Award for her heartfelt act of narrating Palmyria's football games to her visually impaired son. Now, was he blind or just visually impaired? There's a right. fucking difference. Imagine you bought tickets yeah. for every game Come on now. for the past five years, and then this bitch shows up with her blind son, and yeah. she gets fan of the year. Oh, yeah. You know, you garbage. see, the, like, when you watch sports, you see, like, the fucking 90-year-old fan who's going to, who hasn't missed a home game in 70 years, including right. when they were fucking in a Great Depression. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because that was 70 years yeah, ago. Yeah, of course, right? <laughs> and uh, this fucking history. <laughs> uh, anyways, they become public figures in Brazil. 
uh, even attending special uh, Palomarius training special. I, I might be saying that wrong. I don't know. They've met Neymar and shared unique moments that go beyond the pitch, which in soccer means field. It does. Amen. Good job, Dante. Shout out Ted Lasso. Hell yeah. How do you say that in uh, Portuguese? Uh, El pitch. Um, <laughs> I, don't fucking, I don't fucking know. Um, there's a picture here of the mother winning the award. Uh, she shows it to her son, and he says, "Mom, I can't fucking I can't see. I can't fucking <laughs> see this shit. You dumb bitch. What the fuck? I told you I wanted to go to the arcade. Okay. <clears throat> a a dad with Down syndrome <laughs> <laughs> raises a dentist son oh. and shows the power of love." That is the article's headline. The power of love. Because that's the power, power of, of love. love. Or as he <laughs> says, <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, I'm not my gonna, God. I'm not going to do it. Uh, <laughs> his name is Jad Issa. It's a fucking guy with it's Down syndrome. Fucking- <laughs> 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 he, he's a Syrian man with Down syndrome. Oh uh, along God. with his wife, who was completely normal He's for some not reason. Serious. They saved money to secure their son a dental education. Oh, God bless her, though. Is she completely, like, uh, not Down syndrome? She's completely normal. She's ugly, but she is completely fucking normal. Is there a picture? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Let me see this shit. Oh. Yeah. That looks like somebody's abuela. Where are they from? Uh, Syria. He is so he is so down. He looks Asian. Like yeah. Look. Oh, oh man. My God. And she is seriously a good person for that. And they gonna clean your <laughs> teeth, get your molars. I'm sorry. It's not funny. Uh, it's not funny. Oh, All it right. says here he had his first patient already. The first patient was so nervous that they shit their pants, and he said, "It's okay. My dad does that all the time." <laughs> Because that's what people with Down syndrome do. <laughs> what a let's, shit their pants. Just shit their pants. Let's let's move into. Have you seen Netflix's show Down for Love? I have not. So I've watched the entire show. I'm sure you did. Um, I watched Love on the Spectrum. Oh, that's that probably better. Uh, maybe people were pissed at Netflix for the name Down for Love. I thought it was Why? a clever that's name. Clever as fuck. Exactly. It's genius. It wasn't making fun of anybody. No. The, it's not like the kids are surprised that they're yeah, dancing. They, they didn't call it retard love. It or wasn't something like, like they that. come in episode one and like, hey, by the way, uh, we're setting you up for love because you're fucking mentally impaired. The kid knew what they had going on when they got on the show. And it's like Down syndrome people with other Down syndrome people, right? Yeah. Or is it someone with Down syndrome and then like a supermodel walks in? Oh, God. Just like, there was no normal people on the entire show. I will say there was a girl with Down syndrome who low key, low key. If she down, I'm down to get it, baby. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying. (laughs) She might be retarded, but that ass ain't retarded. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) You know what I mean? I watched watched, um, Love on the Spectrum, which was like autistic people. And it was the most like autistic people just get down to fucking business dude because God, if they yeah. don't like each other they're just like this isn't going oh. well i'll never see you again and that's just that's it. how it, that's how it was on like, this show too it's just it's yeah. perfect but then there was a couple there's that no was games, like games there's no bullshit it's just so this couple instantly were like a, like this one couple hit it off well yeah by the second date they were like kissing and shit yeah they came into the studio and they were like <laughs> they were like they were like we had sex yeah, they told they told dude. the people that in the confessional, Fuck and yeah. you hear somebody behind the camera go, "What is sex?" And the guy goes, "Uh, it, we we uh we were kissing, and I grabbed her, and and she is this terrible, and she grabbed me, and we were kissing, and then the narrator just goes, they were not having sex. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god, fuck, bro? <laughs> but was we a, were there. We know." <laughs> There was no sex. There was a girl on the show who's an actress and plays. Uh, <laughs> you will. I will give you twenty dollars right now if you can guess the name of the play that she stars in. Uh, Black Swan. No, God, no. it's Up Down Girl. <laughs> up Down Girl, and she's <laughs> living in an Up, up Down World. world canceled yep canceled. immediately this podcast thank you guys for being yeah, here it's been real we really we appreciate sorry we didn't get to interview the my state sister trooper. live my sister just texts me dante, and dante your point. Stop. it's like she knows stop she knows. right now uh woman who smelled parkinson's on her husband's wait hold hold <laughs> the fuck up 
say that again. Woman who smelled Parkinson's smelled it on her husband helped scientists to develop a test. Mikey, could you imagine you come home from work and your girlfriend looks at you and goes, God damn, you smell like Parkinson's Parkinson's. You're just fucking shaking like, what do you mean? (laughs) (laughs) Did you take a bath today? Because you smell like back to the fucking future, big dog. You sound disgusting. (laughs) He had Parkinson's. Yeah, yeah. That joke might be a little bit before your time, but your kids are going to love it. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. God damn. I love it. A, w- a woman's keen sense of smell for her husband's altered odor led to a groundbreaking test for early Parkinson's diagnosis, changing the course of detection methods for the disease. You know, they say that uh, vaping and nicotine in general can prevent Parkinson's disease. It can. Because Parkinson's is a lack of dopamine, like a severe lack of dopamine. Really? And so, like, people that have, like, addictive personalities that are constantly chasing, like, a dopamine fix are yeah. less likely to develop Parkinson's disease. I thought you were less likely to develop Parkinson's d- disease because you first die of lung cancer. But good for you. Uh, yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's, yeah. Good. Well, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I'm sorry. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, here's a funny one. Uh, Massachusetts teen dies after taking part in social media viral spi- spicy one-chip challenge. Whoa! Yeah. No shit. Were um, they alert? They had to be like allergic or a some 14 shit. Fourteen year old like, boy from from Massachusetts. Why he left? <laughs> has tragically passed away after participating in the viral one chip challenge <laughs> involving the consumption of what's claimed to be the world's spiciest chip. It's not. Um, there's currently an on. There's currently an on. T- uh, on. God damn it! I can't. Right. There's currently an online poll to decide what should be on his tombstone with one chip chump leading the way <laughs> <laughs> terrible do they say why like you don't just die from spice like there had maybe he was like asthmatic and it triggered like a like a asthmatic attack uh, or some shit this says official cause of death hasn't been confirmed uh oh, most then likely, he was a fucking pussy <laughs> yeah. like, most likely thing is a really weak digestive system causing perforated bowels he blew his asshole out no. like just straight up blew it out dude imagine and if he was died. gay he probably yeah. would have just fucking took a dick and it just right. came right out right yeah yeah or see kids hey it pays to be gay sometimes yeah. or not to be gay because then your asshole isn't too loose oh, so you yeah. can actually handle your spice speaking like a- of gay <laughs> uganda has made its first arrest for aggravated homosexuality a crime which is now punishable by death under the new anti-LGBTQ plus law. Aggravated homosexuality. A what does 20, that even mean? A 20-year-old Ugandan man faces charges under a new anti-LGBTQ plus law. Arrested amidst a public gathering, the young man was charged with aggravated homosexuality, a crime punishable by death in Uganda, and that was the first arrest under wow. the new law. Just remember that when you go to the polls this election season. You know what's crazy is uh, <laughs> if you were already struggling with the choice of should I go to Uganda or anywhere else in the world with <laughs> yeah. clean water, yeah. um, here's something to help you make your choice. You're going you're gonna to regret it if you go to Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to suck this dick or you're not. Gonna. What'd you say? <laughs> yeah. Sort of fucking God. We'll arrest you, you aggravated homosexual. Get motherfucker. My cousin's gay. He was aggravated when I told him that Golden Girls wasn't that good. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I told him Gilmore Girls was a <laughs> shit show. Just so everyone knows, we love the gays. <laughs> no, we it's were making, not. And we were making fun of Uganda, the third world country. Yeah. Imagine being a third world country and saying, we fucking hate gay people. Right. Like, like you are there so many <laughs> other issues There's so much out. going on. You have so 76% much 76% of your on. people don't have water. Yeah. And you're worried about who's getting fucked <laughs> in the worried. ass? Yeah. You idiots. Oh, my God. If anything, that's going to help you with population control. Give the water right. to some of the other people, right. like the straights, the good people. That is the most, like, ignorant thought that I have is, like, people in these countries is, like, why don't you just fucking move? <laughs> just go find some water. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken by two white Americans. Who voted for Trump. Here we go. Here's our here's, here's our number one rival. The Joe Rogan podcast, who has almost as many views as us. Oh, Joe Rogan's trending in the news. Yeah, Here he's rumored to be a radio station in GTA Six. Oh, great! Woohoo! Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought there was gonna be like wow. a downfall. Let's give Joe Rogan more money. Yeah. Yay! I thought he said the N word again or something that everyone yeah. just ignores for no fucking reason at all. It's cool. 
I, but, 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 but we like Joe Rogan. It was the early 2000s. Yeah. Everyone was saying it. What murder? What murder? What N word? <laughs> He's the best comedian Come around. On. What about all those times he said the N word? What N word? <laughs> Pennsylvania closes two school districts after a convicted murderer escaped from prison. Uh, Authorities in Pennsylvania have closed two school districts while the manhunt for convicted murderer Danilo Cavalcante continues. Uh, Me and Mikey say thank God, not a white guy. He escaped from Chester County Prison on October... Goddamn. August 31st and has been on the loose for the past six days. A trail cam snapped a photo of him pictured above there's a picture on the phone uh but authorities have not been able to locate him since danello cavalcante have you tried any italian restaurant anywhere in the city no no didn't land no there was a shooting at a <laughs> unc chapel hill did you see that yeah i saw yeah, that it was it me was, because the tars beat the game it was an asian kid that killed an asian professor really yeah man and what's fucked up is uh i uh, i had a client at the job that i work at that i'm not gonna say on the podcast what's her name and uh i'm not gonna say that either that's against the law if okay. i say that that is a yeah, huge hippo, no-no hippo right a hippo will yeah, get real, my ass real fat lady hippo. oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> but he was uh his kid goes to unc chapel hill and he was just like he was like yeah there was a shooting he goes an Asian student killed an Asian professor <laughs> and I went what, what the, the fuck? fuck wow <laughs> like why are you laughing yeah where did well, do you know where he shot him no uh, did he, no. he shot him or no I think he shot him shot yeah, him. yeah 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 it's funny because they had like an act like they were all on lockdown for an active shooter for wow. a good while UNC Chapel Hill Tar Hill Bloodhead I don't know oh <laughs> uh, that's enough for this <laughs> fucking <laughs> news station. <laughs> No more news. That's it. That's all we got for news of the week. That's a lot of news. Hell yeah. Who news? Who news? Not us. You're going to figure it out, though. Yeah. Hey, if you're going to be gay, just don't go to Uganda. Yeah. Or, you know, a lot of other countries. Yeah. Yeah. Why do gay people hate America, by the way? Because... Now that I think of it, not, okay, let me let me let me <laughs> yeah. let me backtrack this you one a little bit. You can't see it, but I gave Dante a hard yeah, look just yeah. now. Let me backtrack this one a little bit. A lot of gay people complain about America. Okay. But when I look Are at Are you it, calling me gay right now? Maybe. Let, let's 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 see where this goes. I mean, it's not Germany, but it's all right. But uh, a lot of a lot of other countries do not accept gay. I think America is one of the few countries that is like pretty pro gay. Yeah, but it took us a long time to get there. But like, the there, like, there's a lot of countries that are still not pro gay, right? Yeah, for sure. Where, where do you They'll think they'll fucking cut your head off in the streets? Where do you think we fall on that range? Like, are we top ten? I I don't hear any gay hate anymore. I don't. To be I, completely, I, honest. I really don't. And I know that's just my perspective and my worldview. But I don't really run into any like homophobia anymore. It no. seems everyone I come into contact with is either for it. Or they're not for it, but they don't like talk about it. Yeah, it like they're matter. just like, what the fuck ever yeah. at this point? Like, who gives a shit? Which you say that, and a lot of people were mad at Tyler Childers going back to something we talked about a couple oh, episodes yeah. back. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's a damn shame. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to you want to go into that one now? Oh yeah. 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 yeah, you, yeah. I guess this is still kind of news, but yeah, Oliver Anthony blew the fuck up, dude. Yeah. He put out that song, Richmond, North of Richmond, which yeah. is a good song. Good I dig song. it. Yeah. I, everyone's been singing it. I think some news site picked it up, and then from there, it just went fucking viral. And yeah. then Joe Rogan put it on his Instagram, and then it just blew That's up it. from there. From there, it's he out He was there. on Joe Rogan's podcast, and just... Joe Rogan's the he's number He's turned one. down, like, million, multi-million yeah. dollar record deals. Well, and he says he doesn't want to be, uh, like, under anybody's thumb well, or whatever. Well, he can't, what? dude. You can't put out a song like that no. saying, fuck the man, fuck the capitalist system, yeah. and then sell out to a record corporation. But, like, and you know that's what, just you know what's crazy? Work. Like, I grew up in a small town. Try that yeah. in a small town. <laughs> and, and a lot of the things that he says and thinks in the song is things that I've, I've been saying since I was in high school. Yeah, yeah. And people People in my town like hate the fact that I say those things. Right. But they're the same people that are praising this song. Like right. Trump supporters are praising this song. But this guy, he's he's not on any political side. But he's literally I've been praising the song quite a lot. <laughs> he, is <literally, laughs> he is literally calling out both sides. Yeah. 
Exactly. And like people like Republicans are like, oh, this is like for Republicans. Like, right? No, right. it's it's not. Like, they're so ignorant they because don't even it's realize. country music, right? Which yeah, is yeah, like yeah. mostly Republican yeah. demographic. And then like they'll say like Tyler Childers ruined his. Career. I'm a big Tyler Childers fan, so this really pisses me off. Like Tyler Childers ruined his career. Tyler Childers like is selling out big venues I was about to say right who now. gives a fuck dude he's making money he's making like a shit ton of money he just dropped an EP today as this is being recorded and let's make let's make a this fucking guy has a bet with um uh the Hagger with Fireball podcast alright um when this episode drops it's gonna be three weeks four weeks three weeks four weeks three weeks four weeks three weeks four weeks three four I'm asking I'm asking you over here. What was that? Say it again. This, this podcast is going to come out in three weeks, right? This episode? Yeah, about two, three weeks. Yep. And in three weeks, his new EP will be at least certified silver. Okay. That's the bit. All right. For people who are saying that he has ruined his career. We're going to give him three. This drop today. In three weeks, he will be certified silver. Proving that he has not ruined his career. Yeah. Motley Crue has him in silver since 1997. Cool. I'm cool. just going to that number up. So going back to Oliver Anthony, his oh, yeah. his yeah. song, the one song, the Richmond North of Richmond, has 51 million plays on Spotify right now. now a little background info for you people is Spotify pays whoa, whoa, whoa. you people, you people, okay, everyone that's listening to this <laughs> podcast right now, you people that are listening, <laughs> you people that are listening. You people. Y'all. 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 There you go. Uh, Spotify pays point zero zero three dollars so like a fraction of a cent per play. So he's already made like $150,000, $170,000 off of this one song just from Spotify plays alone. And he released it single, right? Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but $153,000 is going to take care of a lot of problems for me. Fuck yeah. Yeah. $153,000. Yeah. You give us that? This podcast right got, here? I do respect the fact that he's not taking record deals from anybody. Because yeah. at this point, all he needs is a good manager and a good agent, and yep. he's set. And you don't need a record label to yeah. back you up. Just get someone to book you some big shows. Yeah, you've already got Joe Rogan shouting you out. Like he could, he could set. easily get venues for sure. But at the same time, is he is that still also selling out? You know. Oh. I think because to, now you have the number one podcast in the world boosting yeah. you up just because you're not signing contracts and taking that route like with yeah. it you're still to me I don't know to me selling out is if you go against like what's your grain core like right, right like let's right. say we make it like let's say this podcast makes it when we make it when, when we make and it we go change your manifest it yeah let's ma- when when we make it big time when we get signed if we if we stop doing news across the nation and we stop making fun of like everybody, <laughs> Ugandans, <laughs> we stop trying to bring back dark comedy. That to me, that's selling out. If we we could get signed by Joe Reagan today, Spotify, yeah, I love signed, Joe Reagan, Joe Reagan today, we could get signed today and sign a big deal. As long as we stay true to ourselves, I won't think we sell. We could even do a commercial, and I won't think we sold out. No, fuck no. no. This no. isn't the fucking nineties. You can sell out now yeah. as long as you don't yeah, give yeah. up on yourself. Like. I think as long as it's something you believe in, too. For sure, like, yeah. You can tell when people on podcasts like get sponsorships by ads that they oh, like yeah. don't even, don't even like, care actually about. care about, and they're just reading the copy. Speaking of, you guys should try Swear Jar Whiskey. <laughs> Tastes so good, we dare you not to swear. Goddamn, that's some good whiskeys. Pay up, potty mouth. <laughs> Aw. Whenever someone swears, they need to pay up. You'll soon have enough to cover your next bottle. Anyways, go back to what you were saying. So here's my thing. Like, <laughs> all of, like the song is great. He's Oliver talented. Twist, yeah. He sounds great. His guitar playing is good. His voice is amazing. But at the same time, like I've been going to enough open mics and shows and stuff that there are those people out there. Right, those right, right. People, those you people, people. You people. That are damn talented. It's a damn shame. Exactly. But the, the like, they to. don't get that like Yeah. Like it really seems like you have to luck out and just get that kick, like that boost for sure. Of just that one network or whoever yeah. sharing your shit and now you're like the shit. And there's a thing too, like I've I literally had so I made a, a TikTok one time. Yeah, I'm gonna make it about myself. Um uh, <laughs> I made a TikTok one time and um within 10 minutes it got like a like a good number of views within 10 minutes but i don't have a lot of followers i have like right 
three thousand something followers and um this guy commented on it and was like thought this content was funny until i seen your followers I, i'm dead serious that's a real comment oh like like it's it's crazy it's a damn shame it's because he saw me and my bio is hashtag trump 2024 yeah. Is it really? We no. Sh- okay. Alex, I don't actually uh, support <laughs> Trump. All right. It's yeah. just a joke. It doesn't work, but I'm going to keep trying it. I just need one laugh. Okay. Just right. one laugh. Oh. Um, and I'll, st- I'll drop it. Okay. Okay. All right. Now you know. The I other voted di- for Trump. <laughs> hey, yo. It's so funny. How does he come up with it? Oh, my God. Great. All right. I'll stop that. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's funnier that you try to get it in. Yeah. Like that's funnier than the joke itself. I don't. Uh, uh-huh. We have inside jokes. That's. I don't know if it's good or bad. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a damn shame what the world's gotten no. to. People like me and people like you. Also, one thing that that uh, Got fat fucks like Dante eating fudge rounds and. We'll, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 like a big thing that like. Uh, that goes into that. You have to get completely lucky, but you have to be completely memeable too. True. Like it's almost, yeah. you're almost, as, I just showed you a meme earlier today yeah, of that right. guy. Yeah. You're almost fully, uh, fully, um, retarded. <laughs> no, you never go full. Uh, you're almost fully like, uh, God damn it. I wish I knew this fucking word right now. It's pissing me off. You're you're fully dependent on being memeable, right? Right. Like right. I could put sure. I could put content out, you could put content out. I could. Um if if people think it's funny and they like it and they move on it, nothing yeah. will happen. All right. If they make memes about it, then you're like then you go into a different realm of like It's true. Right. It's right. Yeah. Think, I mean think about like like uh like a bad baby. Uh, the Catch Me Outside girl. They meme the fuck out of her, and she's yeah. like, she's one of the biggest, most famous people in the world now. Right. Uh, Whoa, Vicky, who's apparently, uh, well, I don't even know what she got. Famous. It was something along those same lines. But here's the other part of it. I don't even know who the fuck that is. Good, because they're yeah. they're honestly they're not talented people, and I'm willing like, to have so beef with much them. content out there. It's like, like certain people can be like super famous mm-hmm. or quote unquote famous. Yeah. And majority of the people don't even know who the fuck they are, but right. still, yeah, you just get that following. Well, and, and like it's one of those things where, when as a, as a, as someone who performs, as someone who does art, you see people like that blow up and go famous, right? It, I, it might be different for you. It, it annoys the fuck out of me a lot of times. It's a damn shame. It's a damn fucking shame. And and I'm gonna get I, I'm gonna get on a soapbox. I'm gonna fucking do it. Let's do it. There are more people. Uh, let me grab this bottle real quick. Okay. There are more talented people out there who deserve that spotlight. And this, that's what I'm saying. This like, doesn't have to be me. You just have to but, catch the wave, right. like right on the crest. I, and I, but I, I'll, I'll put content out, and I have people all the time tell me like, "This one's going viral. This one's going to be great. This should be big." Like, I don't understand why you're not big, and it's like I don't either. But it, it's like you said, we're not catching that that luck. That's we're, why I had low expectations for this podcast, man. I'm like, as long as ten people listen, yeah. I'm happy. And, like, and I don't give a shit. If you guys and don't mind, fuck. I'm gonna take a second to be fucking meta and say that we are doing really good with our numbers. I don't give a fuck if you <laughs> like it or not. We are doing great with our numbers, and I'm really proud of this podcast so far. And that might be the liquor making me airy, but, <laughs> yeah, but, but, to say. but I don't care. <laughs> I'm, I'm just here. Now, and now we're gonna lose listeners. Oh fuck this guy! Yeah, you know, but, I only sank like five hundred dollars into all this gear. But continue. You know, Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, you know. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I, it's it, I play the game. I, you can't get mad at the game if you're playing it. I play the content game. I put the content yeah. out. I try. I pray. It just hope it hits that wave. And you gotta just keep doing that. I think. And I think eventually, uh, one of us is gonna hit that wave. All it takes is me or you one hit the fucking wave, or your band, or Fireball, or somebody's gonna hit the fucking wave. And we're just gonna ride them coattails, baby. Sure. If I hit it, that's I'm right. bringing the that's something right. good network. That's if, right. If Alex hits it, that's right. He better bring yeah. us. Yeah. And or, Chris is talking cash money shit, saying he's pulls the whole network so yeah. chris does he did he say that your money oh, he says it all the time oh, really he said it on his last podcast with christy uh that he's tired his back hurts because he's carrying this whole fucking network really yeah wow hey, loki pissed me off i'm like all right i'm like you've been on two episodes of this fucking guy and uh this show's a hit in no. case you weren't aware jackass 
Yeah. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take a sip of my drink. Let's start a little inner I, I, podcast just, beef right now. I'm just going to take a sip of my drink. Chris that's, Morrison, that's I'm still, calling I'm you do. out, you fucking bastard. Like, you think you're carrying this podcast? These fucking guys are what's stealing the show. You better watch your back. You want to talk about history we forgot? Yeah. Oh, wow. More like, more like podcasts we forgot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what, what I'm mean? saying. Who gives a shit? Who gives a fuck? Cryptid, cult, conspiracy, whatever. I, I, I today it took me to today to be able to fucking say that podcast <laughs> name and, it's, it's, and i still said it wrong on yeah. purpose c- c- uh, c- cult conspiracies crypts it's the crypto Cryptids. conspiracy cult you can find it on the something good network we yeah. actually do support chris and he is yeah. he's pretty fucking funny but you well, know we're on also there. fuck you yeah, you chris. fat motherfucker that's why i fucked your bitch that's why i fucked your bitch <laughs> she sucked my dick Twice. And she about to suck the crew. Triple times. Twice in a row from the back. Triple C? More like triple f- fucked her. <laughs> Fucking dumb. Yeah. And and you, and your p- partner on the history we forgot? What's, what's your name? Christy Phillips. Yeah, Christy Phillips. I've never even met you. Yeah. You might be pretty fucking cool. So if you want to be on our podcast, just hit us up. Yeah, hit us at up at this, this fucking, fucking guy, 32, 32. At Gmail. Alex, don't cut this. Yeah. No, he doesn't cut it. No. Oh. I edit this shit, man. Yeah. 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 Oh. Hey. All right. We've been going for 52 minutes. That actually flew by. Um, really quick. Enjoy the music break, everybody. We're going to try something a little different. Hope you like it. Uh, stay groovy. Stay awesome. And keep being that fucking gay. Yeah. Well, I walk into the restaurant I meet my family for dinner They tell me there's a special guest That I gotta meet her Sit right beside her And tell her my name my mom says she's a bad girl But I can tame her because I'm a good fella Can tame her because I'm nice My mom tells me to talk to her I try to make conversation find out this little girl's name I find out some common interest But then out of nowhere This random guy in the bar He walks right up to the table He asks her if she wants a drink she said yes and she leaves me She walks over to the bar with him She grabs the drink that he buys her Chips it down with him When I look back at my mama the disappointment on her face Her own son just lost his girl That she set him up with on the first date And that was when I decided My mom couldn't set me up on dates no more No, my mom can't set me up on dates no more Please, Mom, don't set me up on dates no more. Dear God, Mom, don't set me up on dates no more. Cause I'm not the ladies' man you think I am. I'm a comedian. I'm just a comedian. I'm a funny guy. A comedian. Not attractive. Not 
not interesting I do a podcast Make fun of my own dick Just a comedian Just a comedian who's not even funny I tell jokes, little jokes That make people cringe Yes, I make people cringe Yes, I make people cringe You know I make people cringe You know I make people cringe You said I make people cringe Cause I'm a comic A goddamn comic And I tell jokes I don't fucking date So mama, please Don't set me up On no first dates Cause I will Just fuck it up I'll fuck it up I'll fuck it up He fucks it up Don't fuck it up Please don't trust me with your friends' daughters. I will only make you and the family look bad. But God bless you for trying. I love you. Now listen to Mikey play us out. Welcome back to this fucking guy. Uh, We are very proud of that last song, and I hope you enjoyed it, because we sure as fuck did. That is our November rain. I even went back and added a drunken guitar solo just for a little bit of flizz air, so... uh, 
there's that dante can you please explain to us what that song was about uh mikey i'm glad you asked the message of the song how do i put it uh where everyone can understand the message of the song mm, it's not it's not just a song really it's it's more of a uh just tell us the story all right uh so (laughs) i go to the bar the bar, uh, the bar. Oh shit! Down at the Lizake with my uh, my parents. My I've brother. been to the bar a time or two. Really, the yeah. bar. Oh man, yeah, man. Yeah. I go down there. My parents. Ah, I've been down to the bar. My parents are down there. My brother's down there. His friends are down there. My parents' friends are down there. It's a bunch of fucking people. And then and then <laughs> they a, invite the comedian kid. They invite the middle child. Oh lord. And uh, I go down, you know. And uh, my parents borderline think I'm gay, so they're always trying to set me up with people. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I get down Whoa, there. This took a twist. Hold on. And I, I get down there, and my uh, my mom has a good friend. Down there. By the way, my mom's friend is so fucking hot. Like she is so hot. And uh, she's. I mean, a, usually hot girls are friends with the other hot girls. So that makes sense. <laughs> and she has a daughter who's also very hot. And um, It'd be weird if she wasn't. And, right. And my mom thinks that she can set me up with this hot chick. And I really appreciate my mom's faith in me. Yeah. Well, like, her you know. faith in me is unbelievably nice. Could you, could you imagine if your mom tried to hook you up with an ugly chick? I'd, That'd be kill myself. Oh, my God. That would break your heart. Um, so she tries. She she tells me, she's like, Dante, come sit next to her. So I come in and I sit next uh, to this, this girl. Yeah, you came in? <laughs> yeah. And my mom goes, my mom goes, um... I'm not gonna say the girl's name. My mom tells me the girl's name, and then she Bethany, and then she goes, and then she goes. Let's call her Bethany for the sake well, of the story. I, had to, I used to have a your name Bethany. I don't so give a shit. We're not her. talking about her. Okay, fine. We wouldn't even known that if you went and just said it. Okay. You know, we'll bleep it out. All right. So my my uh, my mom goes Bethany. This is Dante. Dante Bethany. All right. And uh, I go, hey, nice to meet you. And my mom looks at Bethany and goes, Dante is a really sweet kid. Aww. And Bethany looks at me and goes, good, because I'm a really bad girl. Oh, no shit. Swear to God. Swear to God. Swear to Hand God. Hand on the Bible. Hand on the Bible. All right. And uh, I um, go, oh, shit. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. And, uh, nah. Nah, man. That's crazy. We're trauma bonded. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, um, so she says that, and I go, oh, shit. That's, that's cool. That's cool. And my mom goes, so sweet guys and bad girls mix well, don't they? And oh, the, my oh, yeah. gosh. It's so, and this girl looks at me, and I look at her, and I'm just What's like. What's your mom's name? I don't even know your mom's name. Really? No. No, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, so my mom my mom says that, and I'm just like, I immediately go, kill me now, God. Yeah. Like, if <laughs> yeah. strike me by lightning, I don't give a fuck. I will not be here. Oh, my here. God. So that happens, and the girl just kind of like laughs it off, and um, <laughs> it, literally right after that, and I'm not even mad about this. Can you tell us where you were? Was, was it like a all you can eat country buffet? No, or something? It was. It was like the place at the lake. It's like a, Ooh. <laughs> oh, all right. Dante's got money. Yeah. I guess we haven't established that before. Oh, are, did I say you, they had they serve steak? I don't even remember. Anyways, um, steak and lobster filet mignon. Yeah. <laughs> The point is, uh, after our bus boy came through and um, <laughs> cleaned up the... No. So, right after my mom says that, we have this awkward laugh, me and the girl, and I immediately just... I don't want to be there anymore. Yeah. I'm like... The, the the waitress comes over. I'm like, just please bring me like a multitude of drinks. And uh, um, as, as that's going on, the, this this guy comes over. This guy that's actually with our group. He's this like, fucking guy! This fucking guy! That, this guy's gonna be this fucking guy. He uh, he walks over. He's my my brother's friend, so he's friends with the family or friends with my brother. And uh, he starts talking to her, and and uh, and I, I I don't I don't know what to do. I'm just sitting there like and like I don't see it. And uh, it's not like a date. It's not like a or like a setup date or anything. But but yeah, it's yeah. it's like it's just awkward now, right? And uh, so he's talking to her, and my mom is watching me the entire time. My dad, I don't know where my dad's at in this moment in time. He's not there. 
and I, I don't know what to do. I'm just sitting there. This guy's talking to this girl. My mom's looking at me. I don't know this girl. I've never met this girl. <laughs> she's a bad girl. She, That's all you yeah, know. Right. And, you just and know so, she's bad as fuck. So they're talking, and I'm like, what, I mean, what do you expect? She's a bad girl, Mom. She's she just, a bad girl. She just said it. Dun, dun, dun. And uh, she's he goes, a bad, bad girl. He tells her, he's like, oh, yeah. He goes, you need to come sit over here with me. Yeah. And she goes, yeah. uh, and she goes I'll play yeah. rock, paper, scissors with you. Wait, with you? To him, to him. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, and I'm sitting here, and they play rock, paper, scissors, and she loses, and he's like, oh, you got to come over. And she Damn. doesn't even look back at me. He doesn't tell me, like, bye. Just leaves. Damn. Takes her phone, her wallet, her vape, her keys, and all shit. She leaves, and I'm just sitting there, and I look over at my mom, and I've never seen a more disappointed look on my mom's face. Did she not realize that she kind of ruined it from the start? Honestly, I think there was no chance of this happening from yeah. the start. But 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 oh, was she fine? She was fine. How fine are we talking? I, I'm saying eight out of ten, eight and a half out of ten. Damn. And in your neck of the woods. And my neck of the woods. Shit. And and, <laughs> and I like I appreciate my mom's faith in me. I yeah. really. And my dad does it all the time too. Yeah. He's like Dante, you should holler at that girl over there. Meanwhile, it's like a fucking dime over there. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. y'all don't know who like y'all raised, bro. Like, yeah. I am not fucking DiCaprio. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny Carter. Do you know Kenny Carter? Kenny Carter. I'm like, man, like I I appreciate the faith, the you know the love that y'all have for me, but. I'm not him. Like I'm not. I am not the guy that you guys think that I am. I'm not that fucking guy. <laughs> I'm like. I'm just stealing your jokes. This this is, this is, I I am a comic. I am 100 percent a comic. I'm not a ladies man. I am a comic, brother. Like that's what I do. I make jokes. I, if you give me mentally a, ill, traumatized, exa- trauma. Uh, bonded, what else is that? If you give me a mic. I can make people laugh all fucking day. But I'm you, a mic. But if you sit me down in front of somebody and say, have a conversation, I'm like, uh. I might edit that part out. No, no, no. Keep no, talking. No, leave that in there. <laughs> leave that in there, Mike Key Black. Um, just make sure you got the point where I didn't laugh in there. Thank yeah, you. Uh, yeah well, you didn't laugh, so it's going to be it's gonna be easy to keep that in there. I got you, bro. I got you. <laughs> so, like. See what I see what I meant about smoking weed? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm worse. I don't you're know good. what happened. No, you're fine. I don't know what you're fucking fine. Happened. Just, just keep. No, I'm not. Just I'm keep. Not. I'm breaking down right now, man. <laughs> Holy shit, Mikey! I'm not even here right now. I left oh. an hour ago. Yeah, I know. This is all not real because I'm experiencing derealization because apparently it's fucking contagious. Dante gave it to me. Derealization. So, anyways, this girl's fine as fuck. Some dude stole her away from you because your mom ruined it from the start. You didn't have a chance to begin with, right? None and of this is real, so it doesn't matter, anyways. And now they're disappointed in me. <laughs> like, it's my fault. Like I was like, I, I think I was doomed from the beginning. Nice. So that was that story. That's where the song comes well, from. I have a similar story. Believe oh, it or not. Hell yeah. There was a girl I was in high school with. And then once we got to college, she was a few years younger than me. So once she got to college and I was in college, I hit her up. We went on a date. I thought the date went well. Now, same thing. I'm a comic. So I think I'm killing the entire time. I'm like, no one's funnier than me. Make them laugh. Make them breakfast. Right? Right. Yeah. Right. Wait, wait. Can you explain that to me? Yeah. Well, if you can make a girl laugh, then she's uh, she's definitely for sure going to sleep with you. Oh. And then you just make her breakfast the next morning. Okay. What kind of breakfast? Simple plan. Uh, French toast. French toast. That's right. I make a mean French toast. So what happens uh, in between? If you make her laugh, you get her home. What if you if you don't make her come? Yeah. What then? That's when you make her breakfast. You still make her breakfast. That that could be a stand up joke. As long as you come. Yeah, That's you make breakfast. I got mine. Anyways, there was no um, breakfast involved in this transaction. Oh, no. Now, the fella, my boy, I won't say his name because I don't know if he wants me to, but he's the one that told me, make him laugh, make him breakfast. <laughs> he had a party at his house two weeks later. I hit this girl up. I'm like, hey, you should come out to my boy's house. We're going to have a party. It'll be fun. The entire night, I am trying too fucking hard. And it is not working. <laughs> Meanwhile, anything this guy says, she is cracking the fuck up. No. Yeah. It's his party. It's his party. Uh, okay. I finally, like, I'm drunk. I'm high as fuck. I'm like, all right, I'm crashing out. I'm going to bed. Apparently, what happened as soon as my head hit the pillow and I passed the fuck out is she looked at him and said, I'm going to fuck your brains out tonight. Oh. Uh-huh. 
And then he proceeded to fuck her brains out that night. Oh, my God. Yeah. And I couldn't even be mad, dude. No. Because, like, he taught me everything I know, and he showed me firsthand how it's yeah, fucking how it done. Goes. And I'm like, God damn it. Yeah. But now my girlfriend's a doctor, so who's so, got the last laugh? I have a similar <laughs> story to your similar story of my similar story. Oh, fuck yeah. So, it was a Halloween party a couple of years ago, and uh, there was this girl there and uh, I was dressed as Triple H of all people. Who, it's time for yeah, you know the guy we ripped off the intro. Yeah. Unintentionally, I swear <laughs> I do not follow WWE or Raw or any of that shit. I, are those the same thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay, WWE, well, see, see, yeah. I don't, I don't fucking know. Uh, I, so that is, if anyone picked up on that, you picked up on not jack shit because I didn't know. So I'm dressed up as Paul Avec Triple H. Okay, and um. I have on like like blue jeans and a, a DX t shirt and a, a jean jacket with a leather vest over it. I mean, I look fucking badass. Right, right. right I'm like thirty right, yeah. pounds. I'm sure skinnier at this yep. point in my life. Maybe sixty. Let's not be <laughs> modest. <laughs> and uh, there's this, this there's this girl there. Fat fuck. I'm you sorry. fat fuck. You fat fuck. There's this girl there that I'm uh, like I'm flirting with her all night, and yeah. me and this girl were hitting yeah. off. At one point, she even looks over and she goes. Dante, what are you trying to get into tonight? Which is like telltale sign. Like, <laughs> yeah. you're trying to get into me tonight, right? I thought I'd maybe eat some leftover pizza and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. talk to you about your future and Dude. just you know how you feel and think about the universe and actual shit that means things to real. I'm yeah. oh, sorry, keep going. Like, yeah, you just do your thing. And uh, my fucking idiot friend keeps feeding me shots. He's like, shots every like every 10 minutes. Shot, shot, shot. I'm getting fucked up. I was also fucked up. That yeah. Night. Beyond fucked up. Here's the worst part, and I do not condone this. This was m like like f three years ago. Okay. Trace? Trace Leche's years ago. Before, pre or post-COVID? Uh, this is October 2020, so it's like kind of in COVID. COVID yeah. So I'm a piece of shit. Thank We're locked down. Thanks for letting everyone yeah. know. And um, oh. I was not following the guidelines. Thanks. Now everyone knows. Uh, I'm not vaccinated either. Yeah, hate me. I know. Um, Bet you voted for Trump. Are you, you vaccinated? No, sir. Oh. Did I not say I voted for Trump? Did did that part get? No, I'm just kidding. All right. God, <laughs> I, I, I said I was going to give it up. This is why. I told you. I told you. I started I smoke a little oh, ganja. God. All right. I don't know if I said it while we were recording, but I was going to do the first half just alcohol, second sober. half alcohol, and a little North bit Carolina of blood. North Carolina sober. It doesn't. <laughs> now you're just not no, completely not sober. I played the fuck out of that guitar, though. Dude, you oh, fucked it up. Yeah. You fucked yeah. it up. That was our. Oh, that, that's yeah. a ballad. All right. Yeah. That's fucking. That's our November that's, rain. That's right. That is our November that's rain. Right. Hell yeah, the only good song off the fucking album. <laughs> yeah. When we when we go on tour, that's how we're gonna end the fucking yeah, bro dude. badass graphics just fucking yeah. going around Let's us. Email Jack Black right now. Yes. Holy shit. So anyways, uh, so we're bad with women. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's what we're trying to tell you. And, and, so I'm at, we're at the party and um, goddamn miracle, I have a girlfriend. This girl and her cousin rode together. They were together to the party. Her yep. cousin wants yep. to go home. She wants to stay. She wants to fuck. I mean, like, flat out, she wants to fuck. She's a brick. Mm. Dun, dun, house. house. And yeah. um, her cousin's like, <laughs> I'm going home right now. You can either come with me or, like, stay here tonight. And the girl didn't want to stay there tonight. Like, obviously, she wanted to go home, but she wanted to fuck and then go home. Right. So I'm my right. dumb, drunk ass is like, I'll fucking I'll take you home right now. You just fucking you hop in the car. I'll up. take you home. She stays here with me. <laughs> so when I say this, I'll make a breakfast in the yeah, morning. Fucking, you tell me what to tell you to tell us, and um, I, I, I make that announcement publicly, right? As one does. Three other people also want to ride home then. <laughs> And the girl that I'm trying to fuck, like at this it's point, the she's, first stop. No, it's the first stop. This girl, so I, then you're just with two of your boys in the back seat, <laughs> like, bro, what the fuck? What just happened, what bro? Just so, so this girl's holding my arm. She's like, he can take y'all home. He's cool like that. Oh, obviously now I'm like, I gotta take him home, dude. You are. She was manipulating you so 100%. hard. Oh my god. Uh, I, and I, and I, I am fucked. Figgity, figgity, fucked up. I'm fucked up, right? And um, Chief fucked Keith. Up. And uh, I don't even know if that was Chief Keith, sorry. And um, I'm fucked up, and I decide that I'm going to try my best to take all of these people home. And she's like, you can even drive my car. Oh, so I'm not even in my shit. car now. So, so you drove her car? I drove her car. What kind of car was it? 
I didn't even, it was white. That's all I know is a fucking white. It might not even be white, but I remember seeing white. Courtney's car is white. <sighs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Where no. the fuck was this? It was uh, somewhere in Monroe. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> what? I wasn't in Monroe at that time, so it uh, works. It was a it was a white car, and I was in like uh, I don't live in Monroe. We're not even in North Carolina. I don't know where the fuck I'm at right now. Where are we? And um, I take these people home, <coughs> dude. I do not remember. I don't. They were telling me left here, right here, left here, right here. I don't remember. I, I just remember. You, and you were fucked up. Fucked up. You know, you like when you're. You realize this is against the law. This right? is 100 percent terrible. We're and, interviewing a state trooper, and I'm going to apologize right after to this him. episode. I'm going to apologize to him. Frankly, I'm going to talk shit to him for doing a shit job. Where the fuck were you, guy? He, he's not in that <laughs> state. Oh, that's you're another, right. That's another state. Right. And he's, um, in, he's in that other state. <laughs> yeah. And um, should I bleep that? No, nah, that's fine. All right. And <laughs> so. so uh, <laughs> So there, I, I don't remember driving. I remember being. Oh my god! I remember what being. The fuck? I remember being in the car. Yeah, okay. obviously. And I remember hearing things like, "All right, here, 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 dude." I did not realize this until uh, actually a couple of weeks later. Someone told me the last person I dropped off was that girl's cousin. I walked her to the door. I met her parents. I talked to her parents. I don't remember Wait, it. that. Oh my god! No recollection of this. What time was it? Late. I remember we got back. When we got back, it was four in the morning. We <laughs> we got back to the party. You got her parents on. They were either waking up or they yes. had been up all fucking night. And I, I 2020. So you were like what? Twenty years old. Twenty uh, twenty one that year. Yeah. Please tell me she was eighteen. She At yes, least. yes 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 okay. she she was twenty okay she all was right, two. Right. now that now that was the girl's cousin was twenty right, this right. girl was twenty uh, right, she's right. my age I she, hear she these was redneck 21. stories yeah, and then yeah. I can't I want everyone to know everyone was at this party everyone was of age not drinking age no she was twenty so yeah, of age fair fair um, <laughs> I didn't buy that alcohol that night anyways um, I don't know who did but. Anyways, I it told was her shoelaces. Friends. Apparently, down I, at the gas station. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, I was good. Yeah, her her fucking parents love me. Of course, you're and a hell of a guy, Dante. Appreciate it. Yeah, parents. See, that's the problem: is the parents love you, and then the bad girls are like, uh, uh, "I'm a bad girl, I'm a bad bitch." And uh, <laughs> so I drop her off, and we go back to uh, the party. Which the, at this point, the party is like ten people still awake, clinging to their life, like barely. And uh, this girl pulls out some, and um, she's like, "Do you guys want to smoke?" And um, I'm like, "Fuck it, let's do it." You you smoke after yeah after we get back, I'm like, "Fuck it." Let's Was smoke. this your first time smoking Fuck, weed? No, I'd done it before. How many times before? Uh, at that point, m- multiple, multiple. Was this your first time smoking weed and drinking? No, the first time I ever smoked weed, I was drunk. Interesting. Yeah, that I just is so did weird. It. I don't, all right, no, I'm not. We'll talk about that next. Okay, um, so we do that, and I remember we're outside, we're smoking, we're passing it around. Fun she's sick. freezing cold because she's dressed like a fucking fairy or what something. Time of year was it? It was, like, it was a Halloween party. Oh hell yeah! And she's freezing cold, so she's like, "Can I have your your uh, jean jacket?" So I, yeah, here here's my jean jacket. I'm freezing, but just don't mess it up because it's got a collective insanity patch yeah, on the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Limited she's, edition. All right. She's like, who are they? I'm like, they're better than the feelings. Trust me. Oh, and um, <laughs> and, uh, uh, and so I give her the jean jacket. Well, Dante, we're gonna have to start uploading this shit ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I give her the jean jacket. By the way, never got that jean jacket back. That thing it's is gone. 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 And it was my brother's. That's the worst part. I'm sorry, Austin, and uh, who will also be on this podcast in the next couple of weeks. And um, I give her the jean jacket, and then my other buddy goes, hey, my other buddy, Cody, who was just on this fucking podcast, that's crazy, Cody's like, hey, I'm about to DoorDash McDonald's. And the last thing I remember, I DoorDash McDonald's, and this is like me and this girl have been flirting all night, and I'm like, this is this is going to be my plan. They had a downstairs and upstairs, and then like a... Like, in the downstairs was like around the corners of the living room it was like secluded from everything else right and uh i was like i'm gonna go seclude from everyone else i'm gonna go sit down on that couch in there i know what's gonna be high as fuck high as fuck i know what's gonna happen i'm gonna go sit down on this couch when i sit down she's gonna come follow me and we're gonna wait for the food to get here as we wait on the food to get here me and her are gonna fucking fornicate and um 
the last thing I remember is going and sitting on the couch. Next thing I know, I wake up. It's 1 p.m. the next day. Yeah. That Damn. girl, I don't know where she's at. I don't know where she went that night. <sighs> Hopefully, she didn't drive home. But um, I woke up. There was a girl who sat on the couch in front of me who I did not know. I thought this bitch was dead. She was laid <laughs> face first on the, um, a couch opposite of me. She was laying there face first. She had a beer in her hand, but it was like the beer was like hanging off the couch. And it was in her hand, and her hand was like holding it still right like uh, like uh rigor moranis yeah, yeah that's why i was like oh. she dead as fuck i, I said that she's dead. Dead. dead 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 and at this point i'm such a fucking pussy i pick up a pillow and i throw it at her <laughs> i'm not going near her so i pick up a you pillow. like throw it at her and then pretend you're asleep yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> that's, it. Oh, that's what i did oh, the oh, pillow shit. hits her i'm doing i'm laying there like i'm asleep I, I hear her like get up look around like, what the fuck the beer spills <laughs> <laughs> and then like so I sit there and pretend to be asleep for a little bit longer so that she like goes back to bed she goes back to sleep I get up and I fucking bolt out of the house and I go home oh my god oh to be young that trust me Don, that Dante is not a thing anymore Mikey can tell you like well it's so it's it's getting late now like when it gets late i'm like you can tell i start to like all right i'm going home all right it's 9 47 it's not late that's by the, any means Dante, that's how dante is now nope yeah. not 9 30 i'm like all right i thought you hung out with fireball mr all night long why do you think fireball makes fun of me because i don't go all night long <laughs> that motherfucker like he starts at midnight right his fucking podcast i'm so tired so, that's why i sound so different on his podcast and this podcast by the way does he start that late? Yes. Damn. Yes, and I'm like, when I did his I'm podcast exhausted. the first time, we started at like five thirty. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I need a better manager. Yeah. Well, I'm more important than you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, so you were drunk as shit. Yeah, I was dry. You drove this girl. Her drove and some other people. Yeah, you dropped her off. Yeah. Where did you crash? Back, I went back to the party house. Okay, all right. And I crashed on the couch. So, did you smoke weed before or after you drove back? After I drove back. All right. Did it, like, how was that? I don't even remember it because at that point I was so like, at that all point right. I was barely awake. So, let's talk about the first time this is hard shift. The okay. first time you smoked weed. Okay. I want to hear that story. It's really not. I don't even know this about you. It's really not crazy. It's not a crazy story. Okay. I don't know if I did it right, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, because I didn't. I, I did not inhale. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think that's what happened the first time I smoked. Because I, I, I didn't. I never. That was my best fucking. <laughs> I never <laughs> smoked cigarettes. Clinton impression. Who? Clinton. Clinton. I did not inhale. Oh, Bill Clinton. Okay, yeah. I see. That was terrible. Um, I know. That's <laughs> what I said. <laughs> um. So it was. Uh, I, I'm gonna say their names. They won't. I don't give a fuck. Hunter and Cody. I was with them again. My worst stories. That's crazy. That's crazy. My, my worst stories about myself come from hanging out with them too. By the way, sounds like it. And uh, it was at Hunter's apartment, not the one he lives in now. The, the one, it, the fancy apartment. No, 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 the one before that, which was like a shithole. All right. And no, nah, it wasn't terrible. It was a shithole, but it wasn't terrible. Uh, yeah, we have different um, definitions of shithole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was honestly, it, it Mr. Moneybags. Yeah, it was. You know, it, it is what it is. And uh, I, I think we were drinking, and uh, Hunter and our, our other buddy Trevor was there. And um, they left to go get more booze. Uh, so when they left to get more booze, Cody was like, he was rolling up uh, a joint, and he was like, a doobie, yeah. Ooh. And he was like, uh, he was like, hey, uh, I'm about to go outside. You know, he's got a little stutter. Hey, uh, I'm about to go outside and uh, <laughs> and smoke this on the balcony. Do you want to come with me? And um, I was like, I'm just gonna go out there with him, right? Um, that's how it starts and I, I mean at this point dude yeah. I, like i i had already graduated college like i wasn't even like which i only got an associate's degree <laughs> yeah, yeah so these, <laughs> graduated yeah, yeah, college yeah. So, okay at, at this point like i was like is that, that on your tinder profile college yeah, graduate college, i was 19 at that at that point and i had never done it before at 19 and uh he I, I think i asked him a couple questions about it and he was like yeah, just if you want to do it man just do it and um so i was like all right fuck it and um i took a couple of hits 
And um, I don't. I mean, nothing really crazy happened like that. I took a couple hits. They come back. We pass it around a little bit. Um, but I don't think I I was inhaling. I re, I really do think I was just like, and then blew in it like blowing it yeah, right back out. Just a quick, just yeah. Because I, I didn't know how. Like I never smoked anything before. Uh, so it was a joint. Yeah, it was a joint. Okay, yeah. Okay. And I just like I think I wasted like a quarter of that weed that night. Uh, sorry, fellas. As one does. And um, had you smoked anything before then, like a cigarette? No, or like a I'd never black and mild a cigarette, black and mild. Never hit a vape or anything like that. Gotcha. Was literally like the first time I'd ever put like a lit substance in my mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, uh, all right, here we go. <laughs> it's fucking lit. <laughs> you know, like, in out, in out. And uh, um, I do remember that night though. I did get fucked up like drinking. I was drunk. Uh, I peed off the balcony drinking, but. Wow, um, and that was the probably the craziest thing. There was four guys that drank. So how did it go? Like, did you get high? Did you? I don't think I noticed. So what's know. the first time you got stoned? Um, like the first time you were like, "Oh shit, I'm fucking baked." I did some edibles. Okay, and of course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did some gummies, and um, and I just remember everything was fucking hilarious. And that's what, like everything, like everything that I saw, everything I did, I was just laughing at. I got, I got a FaceTime from uh, this girl I was talking to at the time. Uh, the worst part of this story is I did these edibles at the store I was working Were at. Were they Eddie's Diddy's? Eddie's Diddy's. I did these at the store I was working at. And uh, I, me and my coworker ate them. And um, this. You going to say his name like that? Yeah, yeah, co-worker Connie. And um, this girl that I was talking to FaceTimed me. And when she FaceTimed me, he was still laughing. So I put the camera on him, and he waved at the camera. When he waved at the camera, I said, this is blah, blah, blah. He waves here. I meant to say works here. I said, he waves here. <laughs> That's even funnier. Right. That's and awesome. When I, and yeah, when I yeah. said that, he said, waves? And I looked back, and I was like, works and we just bust out laughing and me and him think we laugh for like 30 seconds like i tell a joke you laugh like ha, 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 yeah, no no Bro, she we all i remember her going like are you guys okay and we were like yeah you didn't hear what just happened i said he waves here he waves here bro she said we were laughing for like 10 minutes just like laughing and she was like, "What's wrong with you?" And and I was just like, "Nothing. You never. Nothing. You don't ever wave." And like that was funny to us, and we yeah. just kept fucking laughing because it is funny. And then, like, so we're at the store, and a customer walks in. Oh no! And we were sitting down in chairs, and when the customer walks in, we both stood up, and when we both stood up, we did the same thing. We stood up, looked at each other, and was like. <laughs> We are fucked. And so we started, like, we were laughing again. And the customer, like, just walked around the store. And by, they knew. Like, oh, he, they had, knew. he had to. Have. Dude, if you are that stoned, when you get to the point of, like, yeah. they know I'm fucking stoned, yeah, yeah. they're just standing there like, this goddamn motherfucker stoned. This, dude, he's <laughs> this fucking dumbass. The dude walked around for, like, a minute and then left. Yeah. And when I say a minute, I don't mean like sixty seconds. Like he walked around for a minute, yeah. bro. Like he, I th- he definitely needed help. <laughs> and then you get paranoid. You're like, that's a fucking cop. Yeah, that's he's he's gonna fucking cop. tell somebody. That's a fucking feds. He man. is going to call. And then my coworker <laughs> decided, hey man, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> and I was like, you can't go home that's because what I said. you're closing and I'm gone and. I can't read right now. <laughs> Wait, you're I'm gone. <laughs> I was like, I was like, nah, you shouldn't drive, brother. Like, you should sit here. I was like, we close in two hours. Let's just hang out here. And uh, he was like, nah, man, I'm good. I'm gonna go home. I get a call from his mom. Oh yes, dude. Yeah, I get a call from his mom like ten minutes later after he leaves, and she's like, he's he is. He said he's so high he can't move right now. I had to go pick him up on the side of the road. <laughs> but he is home. Yeah. And that was the goal. Bye, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was like, what did he take? What did y'all do? And at this point, I'm panicking because I'm like, holy shit. I'm going to lose my job. Like, yeah. We're fucked. Um, so I, I remember uh, she left that voicemail because I didn't answer the phone. Because I, I actually had another customer I was trying to help. And um, so... I was helping the customer. I come back. I listen to that voice where she said that he can't move, blah, 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 to go pick him up. Right. And I was like, nah, that's not fucking real. 
<laughs> I said, that's not None real. None of this is fucking real. So what I do, I, this is my first time being like high as fuck. Yeah. So my natural instinct, my natural thought process was, what do people do when they get high? They listen to the Beatles. I fucking turned the Beatles on. <laughs> Turns out they still suck and the monkeys are better. Stop it. I turned the Beatles on. I'm like, I'm going to listen to fucking the Beatles. I'm going to walk around. I'm going to take three or four laps around the store. If I go back and that voicemail is still there, then I'm going to call her back. And the voicemail was still there. Turns out they don't just disappear. <laughs> uh, I call her back. And I'm like, is he, he? he's home, right? He's home. He's good. She's like, yeah, he's fine. He thinks he's dead. And I'm like, but is he dead? Yeah, I was like, he's alive. <laughs> he's not. All right. I, I go, wait. So I, I go, wait. Why did? <laughs> what are you doing this weekend? <laughs> I go, wait. Why did he die and I survive? <laughs> what if it's the opposite? What yeah, if oh, I'm dead? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Do that. I was just like, let me talk to him. And she was like, yeah, you need to. I was like, shut up, bitch. Let me talk to him. <laughs> and uh, she gives him the phone. And the first thing he goes is, I'm dead, aren't I? I know like, you're not dead. You're alive. He goes. Am I still at the store? I'm like, no, brother. Like, you're home. You're, home. you're in bed. You need to eat and drink some water and just, like, go to sleep. You'll be fine when you wake up. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully you didn't have a schizophrenic break and now you're fucked for the rest of your life and it's all my fault. But that, that sobered me up. Yeah. Oh, that's that, the thing about weed, dude. Like, if yeah. some shit goes yeah. down, like, it's gone. Yeah. Like, that's how it was. I, like, after I talked to him, I remember I put the phone down and I was like, this is, I'm, this is, I'm in real life. Like, I feel fine now. Uh, you would think I would have learned my lesson, right? The next day at work, I take edibles with another guy. <laughs> Except for he, another fucking guy. <laughs> he's a heavier set fella. Right. Uh, and he had smoked before and he was like, nah, man, I need more. Like, I'm, I've, I get I don't it takes a lot to get me fucked up and I was like have you ever done edibles he's like no and I was like you should only do one like I'm gonna do it was just one gummy and he was like nah nah give me two and I was like I promise you <laughs> you don't need to do two all right you fat fuck here's two shit so I was like I, plus I was like bro I'm leaving you know I gotta leave right and he was like yeah just give me two I promise you it, two for me will be one for you I promise I was like fuck it all right here, here's two bro he takes two I take my one I'm trying. I live like ten minutes from that store, so I'm like, right, I'm gonna go home before my shit kicks in. Right. Uh, so I leave. All right, see you, buddy. I'm going home. I go home, and uh, I turn on a movie, and I'm enjoying it. I'm laughing. I get a Snapchat from him. The Snapchat is just a picture of his face completely red, his eyes red, drooling out of his mouth. <laughs> oh my and god! The, and the only thing he says is "bruh," bruh, with three dots. I text you good. He was like. I'm fucked up. And I was like, listen to the Beatles. <laughs> I was like, I was like don't Beatles. fucking freak out. Don't drive. You're fine. He was like, no, 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 no. Like, this is fun. I like this. This guy still does. I don't even do him anymore. This guy still does him. He fucking loves him. Did he like close the store? He properly? closed the store. And Everything was yeah. fine. Here's the worst part, though. The next day, I see him at the store and I ask him, about, like, how was your experience? How did it go? He said when as he was closing the store, his father, who's a pastor of a church, calls him and says, hey, we cook dinner tonight. You should come by, eat dinner with the family. That's the Lord talking to your you, Your grandmother's brother. coming to town. Oh, my God. And he was like, Dad, I really don't, I don't, I, I don't feel good. And his dad guilted him, as Christians do. Yeah. Yeah. So he goes to the dinner. He is high as fuck. And I say, was that not, it was like, was that terrifying? He was like. The best family dinner of my life. Nice. <laughs> it's like, hell yeah. It's nice. <laughs> oh. But and and honestly, I don't do it anymore. I just it I enjoy it for a little bit, but I don't like not being in control of myself. It freaks me out. So like when I'm in that happy laughing, I feel good, I like it. But like if it lasts a little bit too long, I start freaking out. I'm like, I, I, I need this to be done. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. It's yeah. weird, and that's why I quit doing it. Because I, you, you know, we've talked about it before. Um, I like how like three episodes episodes ago I was talking about coaching kids, and now I'm talking about this. <laughs> yeah. I want everyone to know this was before I ever coached, and I don't do it. I haven't done it since I started coaching. Just so everyone is clear. Well, we're glad we cleared that up. Glad we cleared that up. Hell yeah, dude. My first time getting high was not that crazy. And the, my oh, first time, yes, yeah, is yeah. Well, I guess my the, first time getting high was, but my. first time I got high, I was just chilling, 
And who, that was it. Who were you with? Were you with by yourself? or No, the same guy that told me, make him laugh, make him breakfast. Really? I swear to God, he taught me everything I know. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, we worked together, and then we would have an hour lunch break. He'd be like, yo, hang out with me during lunch. So we'd hang out. He'd smoke a fucking blunt. I would not partake, because I was, like, super, like... Is this like I wasn't super religious and super Christian at the time, but I still had that like that fear and that guilt that was indoctrinated into me. Yeah, yeah. Not to get like too fucking deep in the weeds here. <laughs> but uh so I wouldn't do it. But I would notice like he didn't change that much. Like because it was lunch break too, so there's no alcohol involved. It was just like we just worked for five hours, we're on lunch break. He smokes a blunt. We go back to work. The only thing is he's a little more giggly and just having a good time. Yeah. Was this at the like, same place I knew you, you worked at or no? No. No. no okay. It's a completely okay. different job. Okay. Uh, a completely different job. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and so we went to college together. And like one night we were hanging out. He wanted to. Uh, I was. He would always say he'd like. He's like, I know you don't... He wouldn't peer pressure me. That was the cool part. Yeah, he yeah. would never be like, hey, you want to take a hit? He would offer a hit like the first time. And I was just like, no, I really don't want to do it. Yeah. And then he didn't. He never asked again. And you hear that, Cody? Dick. Yeah. So maybe like, I don't know, several lunch breaks later, we'd always hang out. He'd smoke a blunt. He yeah. wouldn't ask me to take a hit. He You're like, just, dude, he is fucking his he, lunch up. He yeah, loves it. <laughs> yeah. He would, he would never ask me to do it again after the first time, which yeah. I respect the fuck out of that. Right. Super yeah. cool. Uh, he'd do his thing. We'd get back to work. And then finally, I was just like, and he would always say, like, the first time you get high, you got to do it with me. He would always say that. Yeah. He'd yeah. Be like, when you do decide to do this, it's got to be with me. Yeah. So it almost turned it into like, the reason I was against it in high school was because of like the religious fucking like bullshit OCD tied in yeah, with yeah. that. That's how it was for me too. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but also like all the cool kids would do it and yeah. talk about it, but it was also like a party drug. Like, yeah, yeah. And for him, not to get super hippy dippy about it because yeah. he wasn't a fucking hippie, but it was also more of like a ceremonial type of thing. Okay. Not not so much in the we're going to have a whole ritual behind it, but more so it was like this helps me. It's good for me. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm not doing this to party and have a good time. Like I genuinely enjoy how this affects me and my mental state. Right, right. And so for him, it was a big deal to be like, when you do this, do it with me. I'll be your fucking shaman yeah. and guide you through the experience. And so the first time I smoked, it was me and him. We rolled up a blunt. On lunch break? It was not lunch break. Oh, I was yeah. not going to do that <laughs> shit and go back to work. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm too smart for that shit. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I should have no. been. <laughs> it, was, it was a Thursday night. We There was no parties going on. We didn't have shit to do. We just rolled it up. We hung out at the park on campus. We smoked it up. Had the fucking giggles for like two hours. Mm. It was amazing. Drove to cookout. Just ate my weight in cheese fries. Yeah. And a fucking double tray with a sweet tea. I will say that. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. Dude. If you get and it. If everything you get it. was fucking. Yes. funny as fuck like exactly what that yeah. chick was saying to y'all we yeah. probably said something and giggled for what we thought was like 20 seconds yeah, yeah. but in reality for going. five minutes we were just that's the one thing I, wheezing, do, man. I miss the most about it is everything's funny and then everything tastes amazing yeah i made i remember one time i made a peanut butter sandwich and i put we didn't i didn't have any jelly yeah i put fucking fruit snacks on it well, it was peanut go. butter and fruit snacks on bread. You know what's really so good on a PB and J? Put yeah. a little bit of whipped cream on there. Oh, that does yeah. sound good. Yeah, and, and like I, I miss that part of it. And I wish, like, I think um, I did it. I did edibles again with a, a couple of other buddies, and it was like every time we did it, they would freak out, and it would make me freak out. Yeah. So then when I try to do it by myself, I'd freak out, and I think they ruined. But were it. you drinking every time too? No, I will say the last I I um were they drinking? They were, yeah. All right, see that's the thing. It freaked them out, and then the I first think it, time I cross buzzed, yeah. I freaked the fuck oh, out. Oh fuck yeah! That it is a so whole worse. different beast because alcohol gets your heart rate going. Yeah, yeah. So you're mixing uppers and downers, yeah. essentially. Now I did. I I, I mix edibles and wine one time, and the only thing that's going to kill you is one of those things. Yeah. Keep that in mind. I mixed edibles and wine one time, and that was a real fun experience. Ooh. That was good. 
Yeah. I like that one. Um, that was just super. Because when I drink wine, I get giggly anyway. Yeah. I was just super fucking giggly. <laughs> and, but the thing is, I think like the last three times that I did it, I, uh, I just got... Yeah, I just couldn't enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, are you mocking me? No. Okay. Um, just get in the zone. Okay. So this is my stand up. I have to hold something. <laughs> um, so the last three times I did it, I just couldn't enjoy it. So now I'm just like, I'm not scared to do it again. Yeah. But it's like, if I'm not going to enjoy it, I don't want to do it. Because for one, the shit's not cheap. So I'm like, I don't want to fucking. It's the cheapest drug out there. All right. Fucking Dewey <laughs> Cox <laughs> coming. I don't want no. You don't want no part of this shit, <laughs> Dewey. You, you it turns know all your bad feelings okay. into yeah. good feelings. I, I, I think I do want some of it. No. Nah. Right, just this once. <laughs> Such a fucking good movie, by the Dude, way. Dude, amazing. God. What's that guy's name? Uh, um, John C. Riley. Dude. And then the black oh guy, Tim God. Meadows. John C. Riley. So fucking funny. This is the thing. I do not like Will Ferrell. Really? I didn't I know that. I do not like Will Ferrell. I hate Elf. The only reason Step Brothers is good is because of John C. Riley. What do, what do you and s- I don't remember his name. Which do you is like Talladega Nights? Yes, because of John C. John C. Riley. John C. Riley, is, he's funny as he's fuck. He's hilarious, dude. Um, yeah. Will Ferrell by himself, like... If he's like a, a background character, like yeah. in Jay and Silent Bob Strike yeah, Back, yeah. it works. But if he's the main character, the have you entire ever seen, movie. Have you ever seen Get Hard? Yes. You like that one? No. Really? No. I love that movie. Uh, his like racist off tone, uh, like homophobic off tone, like with Kevin Hart's off tones. Yeah. It's just funny to me because it's Kevin Hart. Well, I, I, <laughs> but I like Will Ferrell. I'm a big SNL guy. You got to remember. Yeah. So true. Um, oh, also, this I'm is not going to say he's not funny. I'm not saying yeah, he yeah. sucks in the matter of like he's got no skill. Why is he famous? Yeah, I just thanks don't for taking the opportunity away from me. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, um, the the big. Have you heard of the the big thing with Jimmy Fallon? No reports have come out that Jimmy Fallon. Which I actually the craziest thing to me is that my grandfather said this ten years ago that um, Jimmy Fallon. He was like he seems drunk every time I see him, and now there's reports. Uh, it was a Rolling Stone come out and was like he's drunk on set and he's saying things backstage to uh, certain castmates or whatever like people in the show and I fucking love Jimmy Fallon I just want that to be known um, I I haven't a lot of it hasn't come out yet there's just been the rumors Jimmy right. apologized so it kind of makes you think okay something my thing is if you're drunk on set to me it's not a huge deal Right, as you know, as, right. as you're not driving and shit. I kind of expect it, honestly. That's what I would think. This dude has to like, write. They're no different than like rock stars. Yeah. Like I see Jimmy right. Fallon, no different than Molly Crew. Like and he's going every night. Here you are in the spotlight. Right. You got to put on a show. You got to yeah. be fun. You got to be entertaining. It yeah. gets fucking exhausting, man. Now, and and with that being said, there might be more stuff that we're not sure of. I want that. We're not insensitive if there is a victim, but we don't want to. Oh yeah, chastise true. Jimmy if he hasn't done anything. It's it's we don't we're still details are still coming out as we speak this is going to come out weeks after we record so things will probably have come out by now um just just to kind of cross our eyes and <laughs> yeah, dot our t's uh, <laughs> we do not know but um that's crazy um it's crazy it's crazy we're trauma bonded his employees are trauma bonded same thing with ellen the same thing happened with ellen oh we didn't even talk about danny masterson yeah yeah he just got sentenced 30, 30 years 30 to life. years 30 years to life yeah um ha ha that 70s show baby yeah that was my laugh track impersonation oh nice <laughs> hey uh was it you or fireball that talked about watching a show without a laugh track it was both of us uh on his episode oh, his show or this show i don't remember or on a show it's either hagger with fireball which you should check out or this fucking guy what you're listening to we talked about a TV show uh, without laugh tracks. But now the big thing that's going on on TikTok right now is they're taking Friends and, you know, the character Ross. Yeah. They're taking the things that he said, and instead of having a laugh track, they have like a uh, like a horror or a suspense track. And it makes his character look like fun, lovable, goofy to super fucking stalkerish, cringy. It's insane. You should, if, yeah. I'll send you some. All right. uh, fans uh, of the podcast, just look it up. I posted it in the Discord, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. send it to me. Put it in the Discord put so it, everyone can see it. Put it in the Discord, and um, they'll either know what we're talking about because they actually listen to the episode, or be like, no. "Why the fuck are they posting this in the it, Discord?" It, if you make it, if you've made it an hour and forty into this one, we appreciate you. I don't know how y'all listen to podcasts. I kind of, I'll break mine down. 
do you how do you do your do you do yours like that or do you yeah, just start and finish really oh yeah i can't like i'll i'll even ours i'll probably listen to like an hour do something else and then come back and hit the second hour i'll probably stop at the music break and then come back and finish weird after our fucking ballet baby or ballad well yeah he raped some bitches and now he's yeah, uh, yeah. now he's rotten in jail yeah good for and him. that's what he deserves um, he needs foreman to put his uh, foot I mean, breath. I guess they found him guilty. So yeah, there's that. Yeah, innocent until proven guilty. guilty, and he's proven guilty. Yep. Yeah, so and people are still defending them. Well, of course. Yeah, that's, that's that the good. internet. But um, you know, it sucks. But I'm big on uh separating artists in their work too, or artists in their personal lives too. Yeah. Um, one it of the, still makes it weird though. No, it is yeah, for sure. Like it's hard to enjoy it. But like I, I was thinking about this the other day. You've you've got guys like um um uh, fuck I'm I'm fucking blanking on his name. Michael Vick. No, 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 well, I mean him, but but I was thinking more of a specific uh example. Um I believe I can fly. R. Kelly. R. Kelly. I don't know if I was blanking on his name. Uh so R. Kelly um, he, his music it, get, it gets taken off of stuff. It, like it's not on TV. It's not on TV. It's not on commercial. Whatever. Blah 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 blah. Um, R. Kelly is in prison, right? Yeah. So if a television company used R. Kelly's song, R. Kelly wouldn't get paid off of it. Who would get paid is the producers, the people who helped him write it, the the musicians who helped him on the tracks. Right. I would hope that those people didn't know what he was doing. Right. I don't know. Let's just for the let's give them the benefit of the doubt. If they weren't named in court, then I assume so. Right. So by canceling his music completely from television, I get it's his voice. You're not punishing him. I mean, he already got his punishment. His music not being played don't mean don't mean a shit to him. <laughs> um, it, it's hurting the people who put time and effort into recording the tracks, and and, and they're not getting paid now. Does that make sense? Yeah. Makes total sense, right? Actually, or how the music industry works. My thing is, I I understand if people do shitty things, we should not support those people. But if they've already made something like uh, Harvey Weinstein, the movies that he made, they're not allowed on like certain platforms. They're not on TV, right? What did he make? I don't fucking know. <laughs> okay, um, but his his shit got kicked off of streaming platforms. Was a big thing, right? Yeah. Who do you think is? I mean, hurting from that, like. Harvey, I'm sure, is getting punished from that. But think about the actors who are missing royalties, writers, producers, people who did music, who had no fucking clue. The people who did music for those movies probably never even met him. True. And now they're true, getting true, punished. True, true. They're losing out on paychecks because of something he did. It's shitty, right? Right. You know? Um, if they're even getting royalties. Well, it's, I mean, that's a big reason the writers are on strike in the first yeah, place. That is true, too. Yeah. So I, I, and I'm not defending anybody. I don't want anyone to be uncanceled or anything. I'm just saying, like, I think sometimes we need to separate. Like, another good example, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson's not alive. He's not with us. Why is his music still being canceled? The people who are being punished is the producers, the writers, the the people who worked on the tracks. Like that's who's All being right. But if you produced Michael Jackson, you, I don't do think, think they knew. I guess this is different. I don't think they knew, but I don't think they're hurting for cash right now. I mean, I guess that's true. <laughs> oh, the number one selling of all time. <laughs> I guess that's yeah, true. I don't know if they're uh, if they're like living in squalor right now. It's a weird point to make. And yeah. I, I don't want to def- sound like I'm defending any artist. Or anything. It's not a weird point to make. It's just Michael Jackson is different. Is, is a little too big, okay. too All high, right. on the totem pole. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> okay, I get it, brother. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I guess it just depends on the contract that they signed. That's true. Like maybe the musicians that wrote the soundtrack for the movie or etc. Like they they got paid for writing the soundtrack and they're that's, not getting yeah, royalties. And if that's the case, if that is the case, then yeah, fuck it. Cancel yeah. that shit, right? Yeah. Fuck them. Uh, I don't think Harvey Weinstein should ever work again, right? I don't think R. Kelly should ever work again. Um, But if somebody's still like trying to feed their family based off the stuff that they did in the past with someone that they didn't know was a monster, I just feel like it's fucked up. To the- and, and, and listen... Those people might come out and say, no, fuck that. Cancel that motherfucker. And if right. that's the case, then fuck it. Cancel them. But at some point, I, sometimes I just think we should try to separate 
the artist from their personal life, if that makes sense. Hey, like, listen, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, if Mikey Black is fucking fucking people that he's not supposed to be, I have no clue about it. I have no <laughs> fucking clue about it. I don't want to fall down with him, all right? And when it comes out that I'm fucking people I'm not supposed to be fucking, I don't want you to fall for it either. <laughs> That's really all it comes down to, you know? Yeah. Like, if they got busted for, like, being a cokehead, like, they go to rehab, they come back, everything's great. Yeah. You just can't fuck the wrong people. Don't fuck the wrong people. <laughs> That's all. And then if if you're going to say something racist, make sure the cameras aren't on you. That too. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, don't fuck the wrong people and don't be racist. But some people just don't get canceled. Like, Mel Gibson, he still makes fucking shit done of movies. He played Santa Claus. I, it's weird. It's a, it's a, he's niched himself in a very strong niche. Yeah. That doesn't need to be niching. That's true. <laughs> like, um, that's a niche dating scene, as yeah. Chat GPC said. Or that's GPT. true. Yeah. Cheap, 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 I don't know. Uh, well, well yeah. I don't even remember what we talked about. But uh, definitely, um, yeah, I think I'm done with the weed. Yeah. I think I'm done. I just proved it right there. That whole fucking 40 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, we... Dante, you held it together. You're the bread and butter of this podcast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've just cured Mikey's weed problem. I'm so happy I can edit it for you. No, you do all the hard shit. I ain't fucking front. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate you for listening. This is a long episode. I think we had good conversation all the way through. Yeah, we did good. There's no dead air. I, I we had some stories to tell. Yeah, I we think it was a had good time. a fucking ballad that yeah. was sick. Um, email us at this fucking guy thirty two at gmail. Follow us on TikTok. Follow us on Instagram. Just search this fucking guy. I'm sure we're gonna be the only one that pops up. Um, follow Mikey on. Do you have social? You got Mikey Black on Instagram? I, no, that is not me. Nope. Oh. Don't follow me. Don't follow Mikey. Follow me at uh, Dante Carter CMDY on Instagram, Threads X. Follow me on Facebook. Add me on Facebook, Dante Carter. YouTube, Dante Carter Comedy. Just fucking help me pay my bills. For the love of God, I want to quit my job. Thank you for listening. And as always, don't be that fucking guy when you go on a date. That's right. Be fucking awesome. You've been listening to the Something Good Network. If you liked what you heard, you can follow us on Instagram, and check out the other great shows on the network. Link is in the episode description.